Hey guys and welcome to another video. This time it's going to be tying up a lot of the um, sort of island quest and boss related stuff for today's coverage. So essentially there's a few of the rare mobs that I found. I'll show you those because I think they're pretty cool. And uh, on top of that, I'm just uh, there's some footage of me finishing the quest which as you can see in the first video was bugging out. I finally got a way to fix the bug and I can't put it in that old video so I'm going to stick it here. Essentially you'll get to see the quartermaster the end of the quest, and two or three different bosses. Now, one of them I don't have uh, audio for, so it'll be playing in the background of the post-commentary bit. So, that's it, and I hope you enjoy the video. Alright, guys, um, we're back in the aisle, and this time it is another rare mod. This one's called the Emerald Gander. I, I think it just, like, appeared beside me when I was running around, so I alt-tabbed Fraps, and I don't know if I've lost... I may have actually lost kill credit on him while I was turning on Fraps and stuff, just to show you the kill. But, yeah... Killing mobs and having fun in the aisle. The aisle's awesome, actually. There's a lot of exploration and stuff that you can do. I love how I'm tanking for these horde guys. This is rather interesting, actually. It's This guy seems to be healing. I didn't spot any heals on him, though, so that's weird. Um, oh, fuck, turtle. Go away, turtle. We don't like you. And the gander's dead, and I do have loot credit, so just the usual sort of stuff. But hey, it had a rare na nameplate, and therefore I will show it to you. Anyway, signing off. Hey, um, a rare just spawned in front of me, so I'm going to try and see if anyone else wants to go and kill it. So, yeah, that's why I'm all frapped up and stuff. It might take a little bit of a minute for me to actually get to the guy. Um, so, oh, okay. Dwarf Shaman already took it. I'll try and get in a group with them. Because I can tank. Well, I mean, I can kind of tank. Uh, as long as these guys heal me, I'll be able to tank. Anyway, so yeah, I'll try and make this an interesting commentary-ish sort of thing. Right now, the mechanics of this guy is stay out of the murky cloud or else you'll die. His damage otherwise seems to be quite negligible. I am now in between two clouds, which is just great. I'll jump out of that. Uh, great time to use heroism. Try and get him over here. Uh, use my abilities, okay. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I am at least learning how to tank a little bit in the VTR because I never really tanked before. And it's cool that we were able to find a rare. Whether he spawns anything interesting, I don't know. So... Ouch. <laughs> I am taking hits. I need to move out of his murky cloud. I think somebody pulled one of his ads as well. And I'm pretty sure that it's avoidable doing that, so that's kind of shit. Um, yeah, that is a pity. How much? Yeah, he has one million health left. We are now in execute range, so... Oh, wow, there's two murky clouds. Shit, get out of here. That guy is nearly dead. There we go. I'll just loot him before we die. So we get some lesser coins. Hmm. It's interesting, I'm not really sure if they've added... Oh, really need to get that victory. <laughs> victory, what's it called? Glow, rush, whatever thing, done. It's weird, they... Oh wow, I think I'm going to die actually one of the other shit. Goodbye, world! Alright guys, so in that earlier video you probably saw that I was having problems finishing this quest. As it turns out, the way to get uh, quest credit is just to walk in on foot. Like so. So what's going to happen is um, I'll finish the quest and it will be on camera, you'll get to see what uh, what it's like. Now in terms of the aisle, I actually think that I've pretty much covered everything. You have the four bosses, that we know. Oh, there's a chest, so I'll go and grab that for you. Now there's lots of, um, you know, heroic, not heroic, um, elite mobs like say these tigers and stuff like that around the place, but usually they're all soloable and they revolve around one mechanic that you need to deal with. Um, okay. So, like that guy's pounce, which I can dodge like that, so that's fine. Essentially, they all have some sort of gimmick like that, so they're pretty easy to kill. And they give you about, like, 60 or 70... Oh, so fuck it, I'll just grab this thing. They give you, like, 60 or 70 timeless coins. Oh, wow, I just let him pounce me. 
Um, and the timeless coins, they're actually very easy to get. Of course, you do need big quantities, like to get a Mogu runestone, it's uh, 75 coins, which is, or not 75, two and a half thousand, which is quite a lot. So I think I'll be able to evade his pants. Apparently not. Uh, that's fine, I'll just blow some cooldowns. And all this, just so I can show you the contents of this fecking chest, which probably won't be a giant amount of cool stuff, but let's see. So we have timeless armor. The drop rates of these are extremely high, and 338 of that. Now, I, I'd say that in live, the drop rate would be far, far, far lower than it is, because you're getting about three, four, nine, six bits of gear every single time you loot a chest at the minute, which is pretty absurd and seems way too high. Um, but anyway, so yeah, you get your timeless coins, and you either get them by finding the chests about the place, killing the elite mobs, um, any of those jumping puzzle chests, I'm going to assume, have got gear in them, you know, gear and, uh, and coins in them. And then these coins, you spend them in uh, for Rathian's quest, one of the stages of that's to get a certain amount of timeless coins, and then there's just the various things you can buy, like buying individual b bits of gear, um, buying just some useful, useful buffs for the island, and some other things which I'm sure, oh, I need to run back and walk in here and put, and just some numerous other items which I'm sure just haven't really been added to the game yet. I'm sure there'll be a new mount, new pets. They did say there'll be stuff like that, so let's see, hopefully it will give me the credit. There we go. So now I've finished that quest. I'm able to finish what I started this morning. Um, yeah, I just randomly noticed that. So we have explored everywhere, and now we need to go back to the guy. It's not working on the map or the journal yet, as it seems. Um, also, you see these little small mobs? They don't drop coins, but there's a buff you can get, which means that mobs drop one to three additional coins, depending on the buff. So I'd imagine you could probably get that that buff and then start farming the really easy to kill mobs. Also, around the place you'll find items that restore you to full health and energy or whatever, such as like these ripe crisp fruits. For all the different areas of the island, they each sort of have their own little... Uh, you know, mechanic to eat a thing and then be okay in terms of health and armor and that kind of thing. So that's that. Um, now that we've covered the, um, the coins, how you get them, and that sort of thing, the other stuff in the island is the bosses. We have these four guys. Um, overall, they don't seem to be massively hard, so that's okay. Um, Ordos is probably quite hard, though. Let's talk to this guy and turn on the quest so we get 100 timeless coins. And... Oh, <laughs> that's that then. So essentially that quest is really just to take you around the place and there's no follow-up to it. So what you, the things you're going to be doing when you're in the Timeless Isles, you basically run around the place in search of chests uh, to get all the loot that is inside them. That loot will probably have a small chance of like a cosmetic or vanity thing. That's just me, me speculating. What we know at the minute is that it will contain a chance for getting... Uh, you know, those, these things, like timeless cloth robes or a uh, timeless mail glove, something like that, that can be used to get yourself some 496 armor. So they'll be in the chest, probably. Um, not all the time, I'd imagine, probably just a limited drop chance. Um, so there'll be that, probably some greys that are worth money, and then timeless coins. That's what I found so far in the chests. Then you spend your timeless coins, I think I have it in another video, and you just spend them with this NPC to buy some relatively sort of meh things. But you can buy Titan Runestones, or the equivalent, which is pretty cool. Now another nice thing is uh, that the place is full of little, not easter eggs, but it's full of little secret things. So what you always want to be doing is looking in your map. Because you'll see, you'll see loads of cool things, like as an example, there's this, it's not a world boss, but it's an elite mob. And it's guarding a whole bunch of chests, and these chests need a special key. I don't know how to get this key, and nobody I ask knows how to get the key. But it's kind of like, you know, the Indiana Jones movie where they're trying to get the, um, oh, what's it called? You know, that, like, a Jesus Goblet, the Holy Grail, that's it. And they weren't sure which one was which, and then Indiana Jones, like, you know, had to choose the one. It seemed a little bit like that, and you have a key, so that was pretty cool. Um, there's a few other interesting things scattered about the place that I found. When I find things like this, I'll be frapsing them, and then I'll put them all into one video, which will probably be called, like, I don't know, Random Cool Shit in the Isle of, uh, in the Timeless Isle. But anyway, that's it for this video. We finally finished that quest. Not much of uh, crazy interest, but hey, it's stuff, isn't it? So, thanks for watching, and see you later.
Hey guys, and I'm back in Timeless Isles. This time I've found one of the Quartermasters. This is for Timeless Artifacts. Now the things she sells are the Timeless Adventurer's Journal, Pouch of Timeless Coins, which is for 500 VP. That's essentially just a boost. There is a Timeless Armor Cache. This is 7,500 and it gives you a um, spec, like a loot spec specific piece of gear that's item level 496. And that's for cloth, mail, leather, and plate. And finally, there's a Mogu Rune of Fate. So really, there's not a giant amount there for sale. I wonder if this guy's anything different. He does. We have Coalesced Mist, which teleports the user to the Timeless Isles. Sheltering Mist, which reduces the ability of monsters to detect you. Now, now that I've actually been running around the place, I find that this would be very useful. Then there's the Path of Soho, which increases your amount of movement speed, that's good. Tale of the Emperor, killing creatures, gives an additional coin, so it's not massive, but it's pretty handy. Legacy of the Emperor, which is killing one, gives three extra, so that's nice if you're farming. Uh, Mountain Climbing Rope, which gives you access to the Ordon Sanctuary, and it pretty much gets you around a whole big run. Then there's the Ring of White Ash. I wonder how do you buy these? Let's see, they seem to be free in the PTR. Uh, this reduces fire damage taken by 50% while doing our order, so essentially that's just the thing you need. And finally we have the Tabard of Sauhau, which <clears throat> teleports the user to the Timeless Isles, and I think that's it in terms of all the vendors. And really, I don't know if there's actually much more to talk about for the island currently. There are four world bosses, a variety of chests and dynamic things, like what I showed you with the rope bound chest earlier. And then it's really just running around the island and exploring. The, um, there doesn't seem to be any follow-up quests to that one that I was unable to complete. That really just seems to be giving you an introduction to the various areas of the Isle. It seems to be that this favors skilled players a lot, in that if you can take down these really hard mobs, you'll get lots of Timeless Isle rewards, you'll be able to get more Mogu Runes of Fate, and in general, lots of cool stuff. Now, I've only been here for about an hour, or 40 minutes, and I haven't really been farming at all, and I already have 1200 Timeless Coins. So they're not massively hard to farm. But overall, I'm thinking this is actually pretty cool at the minute. Perhaps we need a little bit more direction. Maybe need people to understand what it's about a little bit more. But in general, it's very interesting. Now, my goals for videos are, first of all, to cut together. You know, just... Oh, was, was that people attacking Shuan? I'll have to see. But yeah, anyway, my goal is... I think he's just running around murdering everyone. Yeah, it seems to be. But, uh, yes, anyway, pretty much my goal is just to show people what's going on here, and I'll have as many videos out doing as much interesting coverage as I can. As for this video, um, I'm sure this is the last, you know, part of the video, and um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this stuff interesting, and there's more in this space, so check back later. Thanks for watching. See you later.